back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Life is a gift and God gives you that gift for a reason. You have a purpose, you are special, you are love. Never forget that. Wag one, my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Give thanks to life for the gathering. Catch your bounce now, my people. Because that's all holy political things about to have to talk about. You understand? And big up to the man them who oh, I get beat up and I go up at the police station or report up at the police station. The police are going to do say, yo, it is a safe place. You don't have to tell my view because my view is going to laugh. Be honest with you, know. If you don't tell me, say, no man beat up, I'm going to laugh at the phone. still understand. I'm going to laugh. So you can go up at the station and go report it. Yeah, man. So the man them who oh, I get beat up, go and go report it. Enough man about you get beat up from one, you know. Enough man out here get liquid chimney and they'll go sit there. For the door, believe me. Listen to this. The number of men who come to the center now are behind the women. Because a lot of women believe that when they run to the police first and report their story, it is going to be saying that they are the victims. Which is not so. From socialization, we have marginalized men. I mean, we have boys. We have boys as children. How old is your boy? Ten. Okay. How old is your boy, Wallace? Three. Ah, perfect age. <coughs> so, Wallace, it's a note to somebody saw your friend. And you come check you. And you carry a dolly come here and say, what is the virgin? Yes, on that, that is what I'm doing. <laughs> but the first thought will come to your mind. <laughs> Gentlemen, what's the first thought that comes to the mind? So, road boy, I can tell you something. You won't be the first, and you're not going to be the last man if you get beat up and go up at the station and go report. So, go and go do it. Go and go report. When you not get to the look of beat up, you understand? Go and tell the police them, man. The police them, you know what to do about it. Move from right there, then the song go right down a sentence because one man down there dead. Him name Shad Jameson. When me ask the people, they go on power, go on them say, my view, the man them beat him. Them beat him bad, 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 bad. His hand broke up, his foot broke up, two eye ribs them broke up, and then give some rotted lick. They lick him, lick him, lick him, lick him, lick him, lick him. He never dead man's spot still in my view. He went up to the hospital and he got dead. So I said, I went to them beat him. So my view, he was a thief. You see what I say? He was a thief. He was a thief, don't forget. That's the same treatment, there, man. When you go to tell him, I didn't beat him. So I said, somebody don't have a fan of him. I don't feel sorry for him. No thief. That me I tell you no. Upon the spot, he should have kicked his bucket. Can go waste tax be as money like down for bed down there. You understand? Now we have to pay for that bill because he dead left it. Ah oh boy. More news. I said them out just starting out. One whole heap of foolishness. After I go to the house, I said, I go right out of St. Thomas. I said, I get licked down and dead out there. That's not what I talk about. Guess I go on power, go on. I read right to our view and I have to turn back. I tell you the truth. I have to turn back and go to the airport and say, Watch out, man. Let me have to go to the house. I'm about to get eaten. Go so boom, 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 boom. I walk right through the Sangsters International Airport. I never see nobody here carrying a gun. I never see nobody with no jokes. I never see no. I just care about them. I go go draw money, but guess you go on power, go on. Me the people, them are so, 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 and I talk and I say, watch your go on power, go on. Them are go lick down whole of broken family, one by one by one. Remember just the other day, you know, broken brother greedy, him go kill man in a broad daylight of the people, them catch him on camera. So guess you go on power, go on now. He man, them are lick down in cousin. Broad, 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 broad daylight, today, 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 first day of November. So people, I don't know what the war is on. So keep back and relax. Be down there now, you know? And I'm going to tell you now, all we are going to power, go on. We'll catch your bounce first. 21 year old Gawain Pathman, a labor of Made Street, Kingston 12, or should I dead, has been charged with murder, possession of a prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and the use of firearms committed a felon and wounded with intent following the shooting death of a man on Dames Road, Kingston 4 on Monday. 
September 2nd. That is 22 Kanu Watson of Dames Road. Report reaching our news team from the Kingston Central Police at about 7.45 p.m. Watson, another man, was standing at the above mentioned address when they were pounced upon by Pathman, another man, who brandished a fire and opened gunfire. 18 them both before escaping in a motor car. The police were alerted to the area and get a guan power guan. Then pick up the man dead and the man they get shot and wounded and kill them go right up at the hospital. And the man they tell the police them say, yo, Mr. Gawain and him friend. You understand? Mr. Gawain and him friend. And the police them go circle Gawain you know, and pick up Gawain and make him come, come stand up in front of them with a liar. And go in front of the judge chat what all you foolish this. We don't ever charge him for murder. This a boy, I should have dead. I tell you the truth. I'm dead. This a boy, I should have dead. Move from there, then I said, I'm going right down the road. 34 year old Sean Ensop Igla from Davis Drive in Kingston has been charged with possession of a weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition following a firearm seizure in Rock District, Falmouth, in Chilani on Wednesday. Report with your news from Falmouth Police at about 8 a.m. A police team acting information intercepted a Toyota Nova motor car operating as a taxi and guess a Guan Power Guan. Heads up was aboard. The police conducted a search of the motor vehicle during which a Browning single action handgun with a magazine containing 12 9M cartridges was found under the seat where Heads up was sitting. He was subsequently arrested and charged. The people there make sure the police is film gun come here now with it. So make sure. On the charge him alone. We don't take no charge for him. So one another little boy with then charge is supposed to get slapped with. Rape and grievous sexual assault charge have been laid against 34-year-old Richard Bryan, a construction worker. Who the people them employ for come over them yard come and go do some work. But he come over and go help himself. Who along the woman, 15-year-old that time of people in the bathroom, you know? And put tail and tongue pan her. And can you believe it? The boy come back at the house to do some repair. And did it again? He did it again. Brian was charged after a question and a session. He should appear for the Kingston and sent under the parish court. I tell him, shall tell some man or the man and fix him business. Well, I don't know, because the police them say, what's the man? They will look for some people who need to go to court. Because they are witness, but they can't find them. One thing the police, the police are going people live these days. Easy, the man. MID is seeking the public assistance in locating four witnesses who are vital to cases before the Home Circuit Court. They are Clifton Garden, Tajay Garden. Kimo Ellis and Gwelden Allen, all of the same address, right in a Waterford said catching. All four persons are scheduled to appear before the court on Monday, November 4. Anyone know their whereabouts are being asked to call MID at 876 758 5049 119 at the nearest police station. Me not feel like sending my forward still. Me, me not feel like sending my forward. Me I tell them the truth. I don't feel like them are forward. You understand, so? In case they're going to get through out. Them case they're going to get through out. Anyway, this is what happened to the Manchester Police Division has charged two men with breaking and lastery and receiving stolen property for an incident that appeared in George Reed District in Manchester on Monday. 28 year old Kemar Ward, otherwise called Mice, for a year that they need to be a one thief. A security guard of Hopeton District right in Manchester and 19 year old Adrian Campbell, a carpenter of Red Banks, close, same place in Manchester. Information reached on news from the man of the police that owned a security lock her busy establishment and left. Upon her return the next morning, she discovered that the establishment was broken into. The woman entered and discovered that the culprit stole a monitor box valued at 380000 All them the boy that should have dead, you know. Well, and now people, me they forget to tell them about that girl, Ashley McKenzie. The police, they want her to, you understand? They say she need to make herself available for court on Friday, July 31st, 2025. Yeah, man, she had a key witness in our own case. Police, them now stop putting up on the name, you understand? That's why people are going to fight somebody dead, you know? For when you just go to the police and say, Yo, no matter, too, too loud up the thing, you know, you understand me, I go forward it. But the police and put out on the name, man. Once you give me on the name, I put it out there for them, to you understand, because people need to know about it, you know. I <laughs> tell you the truth. And for the people that me, I look for Alpha Brown. Yeah, Clarence and people look for Alpha Brown, guess they go and power go on for him. If they got thief bicycle, him got thief bicycle and police catch him, poor police slap out the head back. He run the sit down, he must have waited for him sentencing. A bicycle in thief, that's why I don't know I seen. <laughs> yeah, bicycle thief, that. Move from there, then let's tell you something else. Members of the year are come to a close. 
So most of the cases before the court are going to push forward, forward, forward. So look at new case that we are come. Then we go forward. I'm going to case now go on for the rest of the year. People kind of drop them foot and fix up them house and go and go teeth paint and then look at something there. And that people are going to deal with. So if you go before the courts, you know, you know, our next year date you are going to get. So boom! Right now, I'm going to climb down with the car. down there. Edgar Wanda. Him dead. And people are wonder why Edgar did and why the youth killed Edgar. So Edgar implied the youth, you know, for do some work and do one pay the youth. Me I make sure one, you know. Christmas around the corner, the people, them want them look through pants. You can't work people and do one pay people. So you decide to go up at the station and do the right thing and take out some man's for him. And it's all right, come, I got a coat. Boom, then carry them got a coat and the judge say, here, bam, 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 lick a little thing on the decks and say, Come back next year, you understand? We will call up this dimension in. And you say, yo, next year too long. Next year too long. Watch your man more of my thing now. You know, so reach out back in town with Edgar kill Edgar. Edgar dead. Edgar, you know, say, you owe the youth. All you have to do, you know, pay the money, you owe the dead, you know. If you just pay the youth, you owe the dead. Knowing dead, and you think I got busy, you know, you them not think. You them not think. You understand? You them lose a couple of screw well. They are not thinking. Because you kill a man over the money you can make. But I know see a year one still, you know. But you know, man, you never have to kill a man over your money still. But people, where to the wise? Whatever you have for someone, give it to them if they work for it. Man work him honest, bird. I never care got a coat for you. You still have enough for you. See, you know. No, you're dead. Ah, boy. Catch your bunks now. Big up to the people that will reach right us out in the review. As you very try to send a review, only thing more you do, all right, but big up in the comment section. You understand? Big me up like how me a big you up. Me have something to listen to, you know. Normally, good things don't spread. You know, get no traction, boy. Yeah. I want to not take politics out of but I want to not listen to that brother because... If more people that pay attention to Wagwan and Wagwan, maybe the society would have been different. And maybe if we can get, matter of fact, we're not too, too talk it out. Come on to listen and hear Wagwan and Wagwan. Good evening, Jamaica. Right now, I see a little smirk up on my face. Yeah, doing this blog, I can say I'm a proud Jamaican. Yeah, for some little light when me see a shine. Very, very proud. Yeah, man. And this bit of exuberance is me a boost right now. Is influenced by something I observed in the parish of Portland. Yeah, man. Right now, a visa figure of Portland, me I say. You hear me say? Not about Ochi. Visa figure of Portland. Want anything we are going to Portland to maintain or enhance. Now, people, on Monday, here was the, the 21st of uh, October, I took some people to Portland. This was a holiday. So, the road was pretty much, you know, not busy. Not busy. Smooth ride going. And I had the opportunity to return to Portland on Thursday. It's about the 23rd, 24th. Yeah. Now, this is a weekday. Holiday gone. Town busy. And this was approximate, approximately 3 p.m. thereabout. I picked up the folks. They stayed at a place called G Jam Hotel. So, on my way back, so well, near Draper's, yeah, Draper's area. On my way back, let me tell you something. And this comes because I'm comparing. The town was busy. This is heading to the peak hour. And school was over. And people, I was approaching a crosswalk and I saw, I said, a student, 
sure boys it was. I'm an accelerate. It was about 25 to 30 of them. And when I looked, every one of those young men were neatly attired in their school uniform. And they crossed all at once. And I'll tell you this, they're in rows of three. Right column of roads, anybody know about a drill square? Yeah. And they came across. And when they came across, they waved to the motorists in regards to giving thanks. That impressed me. But none of us stopped right there, so. I looked at them and they were neatly. Minister no kerchief round it, I mean, no pants down. And the people were saying, that's, that, that's the folks who may have taken up in the car and say, Oh, the, that's the school uniform? And I say, Yeah, man. And they had a little conversation. This was a couple with their two kids. And they were very, very. This is after school matter about them. You know? Neatly attired. The demeanor was, trust me, different. So we drove up further. And I saw another uniform. And these children were neatly attired. Get me? And the demeanor, similar thing. So it started overwhelming me. And I, I, I had to say to the people in the car, believe me, you can't quote this as good as bad. I said, it's like a different culture. And then I drove up further and saw another few. A couple of students. I said, nah, man. Me nah, pastor. And I said, good evening, young lady. Which school is this? And she said, Port Antonio High. She was neatly dressed. She, when, when I called to her, she turned straight to me. Stopped and gave me full eye contact. She was walking with a young man. And I said, you look very good in uniform. She said, thank you, sir. And I like a certain they get to I mean, I say, the whole. And I, I, go, I went up further and I saw another set of students. Portland. Yeah. And I was calling out to the students while driving. Then I pulled over and a lady said, I want a driver. And I said, No, I just want to know with school this. Apparently, the students in the end, they say, A bone book primary. And I said, Trust me, I love the way they are attired in a uniform. I said, yeah, man, they might pick me a good pick me. And let me tell you something, man. I was overwhelmed. And then I went further. And I saw another young man. Neatly dressed, khaki pants, white shirt. So, I attacks me running. So, I beckoned to him. And he waved back like I said, no, I don't want to attack you. know, like. And I said, no, no, one minute. Which school is this? And I said, teach feel high, sir. And I said, oh, have a good evening. And he said, you too. People, are like, I know long about the call me, sir. You hear me, sir? Poor clan. No, people, it was a different demeanor. The, the attire, just walking on the road. Let me tell people, I can't find words to explain it. Auntie Anne Marie, uh, Uncle. My name is Darrell. I talk about the vase them. Any program you don't have, any intervention program, Portland police, anything you know I do. By the way, the police were out on the highway, several different spot checks. Anything you know to keep it up. It's a different demeanor. A different, different demeanor. They looked humble, they looked subtle, they looked respectful. So I ended up in, engaging with four set of students. Boundary Primary, Portland High, and Port Antonio High. The first set of boys I did not get the name of the schools because I was driving. But the demeanor. Now I'm going to teach you that class a long time. Right? If you watch school challenge kids, sir, the Calibar school make it. I mean, I tell you, say, when the young man said, teach you high, sir. People, may I tell you, man, Portland, not going good. So, 
the people were very enthused that are the tourists. You know, and I decided when we had a little stop. And I checked on crime stats among parishes. I know the Portland have the lowest crime rate in Jamaica. Hmm? Portland have the lowest crime rate in Jamaica. And Mr. Prime Minister, I'll tell you this now. Use it as a model. Because they are heading the right direction. Anything with the people, the parents, the working class people at Portland, it is being reflected in these children. That's how I emphasize. Anything where the working class people are doing in Portland, it is being reflected in the students. I made mention of the days I went there and the difference. So the holiday had no traffic, basically, pedestrian traffic rather. And in the evening, trust me, I saw no hoodlums, I saw no hooligans, I saw students, I saw well attired and manageable boys and girls coming from school and may I say put one gate from Portland and a visa for God on me I rate it I have to talk about it all may I say the police officers whoever is in charge of the parish sir, madam rank and file good job good job if you come spend a day a certain place and I wonder if I still Jamaica one day. Yeah, man, I'm impressed. Darrell Vaz and Marie Vaz. You might see me move down there. Yeah, man. I see peace of mind. I see, I see a good future. With those children, those students, those young men and women, those boys and girls. Book Primary, Titchfield High, Portland High. Port Antonio High. Those were the schools I interacted with. They were I I they drove the students I saw none disappointed. None. Minus the body and a heat and a walk. They, they were drinking. The time was humid. Yes, can understand. But trust me, very, very much welcome attire. I love it. This might not get a whole of shares, might not get a whole of views, but it's a very country. And when we see the light of the funny flames, make it burn brighter. Portland, keep it up. Good job. 